what do you say we demo some perspective? Now remember, there's going to be whole several classes taught in perspective. Perspective is real important. I think I have the beginning class, and uh, we got some wonderful teachers designed uh, set up to do uh, the more advanced classes also. So uh, we're the foundation school, and uh, we'll make sure you get it. All right, but let's uh, let's block this one out. See how it goes. Okay, the first thing we need to do is establish where our eye level is. I took this driving by on a bus. So this is Spain. So this is going this way. This is going this way. So we're here. This is going up. So it looks like our eye level will be about right, right about here. Okay. And then we're looking up, so it'll be a three-point perspective. So we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, so we have a three-point perspective. And um, so everything's going to be going slightly up. Okay, let's do it. I'm working on Disney paper. We have been all day. But um, hopefully this Disney paper will give us some special magic. All right, one of the first things... <clears throat> Excuse me again. Is to keep the drawing in the center. So that allows you room. In other words, don't do the drawing all the way out to the edge. You need to have room to put in your vanishing points. So with the horizon line all the way across. Okay. I like to find the corner that's closest to me. I start blocking that way. So let's go here. And we're going to have vanishing point one should be closer to you. So that'll be there. So that'll be right here. And one will be really far away, off the paper somewhere. So way out there. And you can start uh, going like this if you want. Okay. And we're going to have a vanishing point way up in the sky. And that's going to give us this angle. So right there is like key in the drawing, okay? Key in it means establishing. So we've got this angle here. We've got a vanishing point. We've got the other vanishing points going somewhere over here. And here's our first box going this way. I just look for these vanishing points. All right, so we're going like that. See, it's super light, though, because I want to come back into it later. Can you guys see that? Let's go a little closer. There we go. Remember, we have a roughing stage, so we can use that. Then this is coming up here. There's a corner going this way. Okay, and then this will be straight because the vanishing point's up here somewhere. So everything seems to be going in like this. And from here, we'll go from this vanishing point here through that point straight up. And then from there, here, which is out of the field where, you know, we've got these bushes in front. And then that'll come, now it's starting to come in this way starting to fall in like that. See? And then this will come up. Okay. Then this goes this way. back and there's your block blocking in okay now we'll use a red and have some fun. 
Okay. So let's see. Can you guys see all this? We'll go back over here to the beginning again. And here you get to start putting in more details. Don't be afraid to work in multiple colors. All right, now I want to find the center. So I'll go like that. There's my center right there. We have a... Now I can find the center within this center and the center within that side. And that could center this window. So it's kind of a half dome window right there. And then this is going to go to the same angle here. Remember, this is freehand perspective. Okay. Which means a lot of roughing. Roughing is going to be the secret to your success. I, I do a lot of work. I have a lot of deadlines. And I think one of the things that helps me out the most is the fact that I, I scribble everything out into extreme. Here's my center. There's my center in perspective. And the window is going to go past. So I scribble, 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 scribble to then come back in and do the tie down. It's an animation and training. So you want to get the acting down first. And if you spend too much time worrying about the drawing, you can lose the acting really fast. Find the center here. Find the center, find the center. And there's your window. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Now we have this box up here. There's this weird thing up here. We have like another box here. It's kind of weird. A little cap on there. Then we got the decorations here. And we'll put those in later. We're gonna put some tone in here. So now we're coming here. This is going down. This is lower. Okay, now we have this wonderful angle happening this way. And this is gonna to go to an auxiliary vanishing point way over here on this side. See? Remember, when we're dealing with tone and the auxiliary branch points, take a look at the perspective lectures. If you don't understand this, then go to the perspective lectures and you'll get it. Okay, so this is going this way. And it has some really fun, like columns, but they're really not columns. There's a helicopter going by. We should put those like no fly zones when I do my lectures. This is there, so this is gonna go this way. And then it peaks right here.
pretty cool. It's kind of weird. And then we have these long windows. courthouse or a church or something like that. We're going to put, uh, you know, bushes here in the front. That's a long tree here. All right, so it's starting to come, it's starting to come around, but still kind of rough. And this comes up this way. And then uh, this is tall here. And there's somebody's gardener. Hopefully it's not ours. Again, we can't stop, we're on a deadline. Now this is going to come up, and it's going to go this way, and then it goes this way. doing out there. I don't think it's our gardener. It's on the next block. So it's like they're taking the whole block out. See here I'm using the negative space to show this window. See I'm drawing this negative space here to show what the window is pretty cool. So everything that you're learning in these fundamentals, you're going to use every day for everything. So please, please, please take your time and learn this stuff. Because you're going to be out there representing us. And I want to have somebody to say, you study with Sheldon? You think you should know this stuff, right? That guy's crazy, you know? He really teaches you this stuff. And then we have this one here. Hear that popping noise? That's really weird. I wonder what that is. I hope they're not running over the neighbor's cat and dog. And, uh, I am the gardener. I stop for nothing. Oh, that was my old grandfather. I stopped for nothing. Okay, here we go. Alright, no grandpas can pop like that. Gross. Okay? That's our perspective. Let's have some fun. Let's put some tone in there. Why not? Alright, see. The light is boring in here. Let's show you. The light's kind of boring. So we're going to bring the light this way and give longer shadows. And we can do that if we own our fundamentals. Okay? And that's what I'm asking you to do. So the light's coming down like this. Just like figure drawing. Okay, then this will come down like that. Hits the top there. We're just going to stay with the same local values. And 
is definitely on the next block. All right, and the light's coming here, so we'll throw a little, cat, little shadow there. Wow, listen to those pops. That's really weird. So see how we're continuing to work on this. Now, it would take I would probably spend a couple hours on this. So that's what I'm going to want you to do. Don't forget to use your kneaded eraser. And just like the drapery, you want to keep your shapes nice and clean. We'll just do this one section here. you do because you go from general to specific but I would put in a lot of details you know you put in these little details here Don't be afraid to work in multiple colors. Lay in your values. So this would still be a block in. I'm going to put in a lot more detail. Sure your shadows are clean. Okay, does that make sense? So this is kind of misty looking and out there. Let me show you a, a couple perspective pieces. Okay, these are some of my gallery paintings of Catalina. And you can see how we're working with solid perspective, but we're also working with real pretty shadow patterns and a lot of detail. See? Okay, so this painting took, you know, hours and hours and hours. Same thing here. Definitely working with an eye level. But you can see the detail. Okay, so same thing that we started. Same thing. See. Okay. So the devil's in the detail. Here we go. I love this building. See that? So just your basic perspective. There's your horizon line. This is going to way out to a vanishing point way over here. This is going to a vanishing point way over here. This is going to, everything goes to a vanishing point. See? 
the Wrigley Mansion. So it's up, this is similar to what we're doing, it's up on the hill. But you can see how we're being careful with our shadows once we get this going, see. Then you go in there and you really clean it up. Only problem is server space. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do a million billion of these. The more detail you put in. more fun it is. Okay, So it would be a nice little sketch. Do a lot of these. I do these all the time. I'm always in my sketchbook. Let's pull this back. See, I am always living in my sketchbook. This could fade out into the sky. You know, maybe lose this edge here. See, bring that around. Okay, let's have some fun with it. But do a bunch of loose ones like this so that you can get your mileage in. All right, homework time.